The world continues spinning in circles and not knowing where it's going. Here we're reading in modern research that they found that cheap, inexpensive, chemically latent sunscreen actually block the sun better than the more expensive, natural varieties. Well, let's get to the basis of this. For many years, those people who understand sunscreens, be it natural or mainstream, know that the great amount of them create cancers. So in either case, not a great idea to use sunscreen. Now, most of you are self-conscious, I understand that. But even lifeguards are self-conscious, although they sit there all pumped up on their throne, on a beach, looking down at the young ladies all day long. But notice that after they do that a short time, they do protect their noses and lips with the zinc oxide. If you are worried about the way you look, don't use zinc oxide. If you don't worry about that, or you're smart enough to go to another neighborhood to, or to a beach where nobody knows you, rub your body with zinc oxide. They talk about less expensive. I can't think of a less expensive sunscreen than a zinc oxide. You may look like Al Jolson after you put it on, but on the other hand, it's going to protect you better than anything else for pennies on a dollar. The other thing you have to concern yourself with as summer comes, and many of you listening are in warm, hot spots like Florida, what you have to know is that basic clothing, natural fiber clothing, protects you from a lot of the UV rays. That's why you notice when you have your cotton shirt on, when you're out in the sun, it doesn't allow the penetration of many of the UV rays so you don't burn with them. Again, there are greater protections than that, but sadly, most of those protections are reflecting agents that are made with petrochemical. So you may not get sunburn, but you may end up with cancer.